Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Here you see a web page and it has some material design. It looks a little bit like an Android application. If I would say that this is built on Flutter, well, that's what this video is gonna be about. So Flutter is a framework built on Dart that can compile and run on many different platforms. I have videos before where I've shown how to run Flutter on Android and iOS, and those two platforms are very well supported. I've heard that uh, Mac OS is also well supported, uh, but Windows and Linux and also the web is a little bit of an experimental feature so far. As you see, I got the web to work. I have also tried Windows and uh, you had to have a lot of different tooling installed. I tried with uh, Win uh, Visual Studio 2017, which was recommended. I tried with Visual Studio 2019, which I also recommended. Uh, when you install with those, you actually get the question. Uh, first off, you get an error if you, none of them are installed, which is a little bit weird. Uh, and if you then try again, you will actually get a pretty good uh, error message telling you uh, that things are missing. So you see here that when I installed Visual Studio uh, 2019, it told me that uh, MS build was missing, MS VC, the uh, build tools for C++ was missing, and also the Windows SDK with a specific version. So then you can go in and add those and try to run it. And uh, sadly, I did not, I was not able to run it. I got a lot of errors. That it didn't find any build files, so it could actually run the build, which is a little bit sad, but. Uh, I got the uh, web version to work and you can either run things with two different commands. You can either run it with uh, flutter run d web or you can run it with flutter run uh, d chrome and that will start up the chrome uh, web browser and and that will start up a web socket talking to your chrome browser in order to uh, handle the quick replacements of the uh, widgets and so on so you can actually run it in a debug mode and build things without actually restarting or anything like that so that's a very good way to to build on the platform. Uh, I also tried to run it on Linux. Uh, there you needed CLang to be installed. You had to have all the Android tooling to be installed as well. And I didn't get that to work well. It didn't actually work at all for me, but that's a little bit um, expected because it's still experimental. And I had to add also that this version I run here is a further version than the released version of the uh, Flutter <laughs> runtime. So if we uh, start another command prompt here and we go to tools Flutter. So here if we look at the git status and uh, it will actually say that I'm detached touched from head and I'm running the commit b2 ce 199d9 so it's a specific commit where the web version of the flutter tooling is working uh, if you are running flutter command so the so if you are running a normal uh, flutter version um, and you want to actually use the most recent in the developer version, the re most released, uh, most recent versions that the developers are working on now, you need to type flutter channel master. So that will change over to the master branch of flutter and enable you to run the latest code. But you can't type channel 
and then a specific commit. So what I had to do was actually go into the directory of Flutter. In my case, I installed that in tools Flutter. And here I had to go git checkout and that specific version. After that, you can run any command of Flutter actually. But if you run Flutter doctor, for instance, it will go through and check which version you have, download the right uh, Dart uh, version and the right um, version of the Flutter engine and handle whichever version that you have specified in your directory of Flutter. It's only when you run Flutter upgrade that it actually will uh, fix those issues that you might have with your uh, Flutter engine. I've now started up uh, Wishes Studio Code and here you have my Flutter application here. So let's just uh, try to change something here and see if this will update our page here. Uh, it didn't, so maybe it's not connected. So let's see if we can do a hot restart here and maybe it will uh, push that update out to uh, the actual page here. Let's see, it's restarted and now it says Flutter test up here. Uh, if we go here and my Flutter page change that. So it's not connected directly here, that's interesting. Hmm. Maybe I need some extra tooling. Let's see if I can download more Flutter things. Yeah, so now I have installed the Flutter uh, extension to Visual Studio Code. We push the button sometimes here. We see that the actual application works. We can change this to my home page. Save that. Let's see if we have any updates in here. Uh, to hot restart, yeah. And rebuild state. Uh, let's see here um, if we can. Didn't update there. If we update, reload the page, what happens then? Will it just get the new version? It will not. So at the moment, it seems that in order to get the new version out, you need to do a hot restart and that's not a good working flow for this application, but it does work. It do, does do the, the work here. And maybe we can get it to work even better with Android Studio if you open the project there. Um, I can try that out as well, let's see. Yeah, and we're back and now I have started it in uh, Android Studio. So let's see if we can do some work here and actually get it to send that command to a hot, that was a hot restart. So will we be removing our progress here is the interesting thing to see. Will this pushed button six times be removed or will we only update? No, nope. it actually removed our progress. So I believe that so far it's very experimental. It's not working. Um, let's stop that. It's not working out of the box as you want it to do. It's you, you can do hot restart, but the power of Flutter is when you can do hot reload and work on a concept without losing state. And you can do that on Android and you can do that on Linux, which is super cool. But it seems that uh, the web development with Flutter is not uh, ready for prime time yet. And if we look at the Windows build environment, there might have been some times previously where you can actually run the Windows desktop environment, uh, but you can't do that at the moment. At least it doesn't work for me. 
the same goes for the Linux desk uh, top environment. It's also not working for me at the moment. So let's go over to presentation mode here. There. So let's just look at the different options that you have. So when you in have installed Flutter, you need to run Doctor to see that you have everything that you need. And then we have another command called config. And this config command, you can enable Linux desktop. And that's what I tried now. You can also enable uh, Windows des uh, desktop. And these are very experimental and I haven't gotten those to work. I've tried a lot of different things. So that's the summation for those. But if you enable web, then you have this option of actually running uh, your Flutter. So you can run Flutter uh, with a device, D. So if you run Linux, that's the Linux desktop, you have the Windows desktop, and you also have web. The web is actually running the web server, and then you connect your uh, browser to that server, and that's uh, not done with a web socket. So the actual process can talk back to the web server and say, you need to update yourself. In order to do that, you need to run with the device Chrome that will start a Chrome browser with a web socket so you can actually update it. And that was what I thought could potentially do the hot reload, but it didn't work at this time. So uh, this video was a little bit of an experiment to see if I can create a desktop environment or a desktop uh, application using Flutter. And I believe they are not really there yet. They are still working on it, it's still experimental. If you want to help out, they are on GitHub, so you can go in and help them build this environment. I still think the technology is very powerful right once run everywhere and i think that the main idea of having a debug version that runs in an emulator and then run by uh, build to the native platform for the actual application is very powerful so i really hope that they will succeed there uh, so this was what i wanted to cover today uh, it has been a little bit of a journey to actually see all this uh, I hope that you found this video interesting. I hope that you are as just about uh, trying out the uh, Flutter for desktop or web as I am. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.